Hello, hello. Back, back to do um, the start. I'm not sure how far we'll get of a cover for our journal. So um, I did a, a, well, I say a prototype. I worked on one journal cover because I do have so much stuff now. I'm probably going to be able to make at least two. Uh, I'll be using it for the rest of my life, I think. I have, um, I'm going to do this cover slightly differently and I, I kind of hope everything is going to be in shot. It's a little bit, uh, let me just, sorry, got a little bit of an issue there with the, uh, with the laptop. I have got a, a packaging box. Uh, this one is kind of like the large Amazon one. Sorry, just testing out a colour. Um, I've removed this, which, oh my days, it was, I think it was glued on with some kind of elephant glue. <laughs> I had to pry it off. Um, so that's the start of it. And I've got to say, I am absolutely, I feel like my motivation and my, I'm not quite sure what you call it, but I'm just so enjoying this process, doing something completely different, just really letting loose and being a little bit more free with what I do. Um, I'm not sure it will be something I do forever. I've taken this off and I actually quite like it as a spine and I've got some I've got some ideas but I haven't got a proper plan but that's the good thing about it but what I want to do is use this as my journal cover so it's going to be slightly different to the one I showed and shared in my Facebook group so blimey honestly it's like, <laughs> that's so tough it's so tough so now we've got more cardboard and we have a shortage of cardboard in the house which is not something i ever thought i would say um so we need to we need to order something from amazon um, to get some boxes actually that's not true I'm, I'm sure i can get boxes elsewhere so i'm gonna um okay got a rough idea of of how I can work this now um, I don't want to tear off more so here is I'm just trying to decide how big I want it now what size roughly is this is an mm, that's, I want it to be at least that wide so I'm kind of guessing here I'm just gonna put a little little pencil mark and I'm going to rip it if I can. Yeah. Uh, let me fold it. Just make it slightly smaller. So, <laughs> measuring out the window, um, working neatly, cutting things exactly, all of that stuff. Not concerned about it. I'm going to have to turn this around to now tear from this direction. Oh, blimey. Okay. This is the bit we want. This is the bit we want. Now, I'm just going to again put a rough pencil line there. And fold. Oh, that's, that's folded nice and easily let's see if it will tear as easily this is quite a not thick cardboard but it's sturdy enough okay i don't know if i've just said this but my desk has never quite looked the way it looks now <laughs> um i'm usually quite neat quite neat and tidy when I work and it certainly is not like that now what I want to do is get rid of this kind of bit at the bottom here I never ever thought I would be doing something like this okay, so um if we want to tear it fold it roughly there might have to use a ruler. Okay, now believe it or not, that is going to be my cover.
Wow. I think that's the tattiest cover I've ever made. <laughs> it's, fab it's fabulous. I'm just loving it. The only thing that I've got is I want to use this. That's going to be my focal point somehow on this particular journal. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's obviously at some point it got a little bit wet into... It was in one of those pouches with several postcards. Um, and it's obviously got a little bit wet and they've been torn apart. But even that's quite old now. So and that is what I want on the front. And that's as far as I've got really now. I have to make a decision um, on the fabric. Because this one I'm going to use fabric it's going to be very tatty when I'm done um, I'm still still thinking I want that down the spine maybe with some sticks some twigs now I've got two really nice linens I've got this one which is kind of a cream color and then this one which is more white and I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to go for this cream one um, it's absolutely beautiful I got this from a shop in France <clears throat> now this stuff is very difficult to cut um, to tear but I'm gonna give it a go now I want it I'm gonna try and I want that edge ah this one's not so bad okay keeping all the scraps I want it slightly smaller than my cover not overthinking. Just get that out of the way. I love this. It smells divine. It's been washed in something amazing. Isn't it funny that whatever, you know, whatever washing powders or whatever you use, they never smell as good as other people's. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that didn't quite work, did it? Oh, well, there's the thing. That's okay. That's okay. Right, plan. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to have to cut it. It's not going to work. That's okay. That would look quite cool, stitched actually, hand stitched. You just have not a lot of control, which is kind of where I'm going with this, I suppose. Just giving up some of the control we have over certain things. Okay, right. Maybe that will go at the back and make our back cover. So that's not perfect. But that's great. Kind of like how that's going. So what I want to do is I'm just going to paint around the edge of the cardboard first of all. And even though I don't know what's going to happen on this side, I am going to, I did start with damp brushes by the way, my brushes weren't, um, they weren't dry. So that's going to be my inside and I have no idea what's going to happen with that at the moment but this is definitely going to be my outside now um i have to decide what i'm doing with this whether i want to put some stitches in here or leave it as it is i am going to be doing some machine stitching on here and i still think maybe there's not enough cardstock showing i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do that and then this can be slightly layered 
I just love this line where it's been folded for so many years. Okay. So this is, <laughs> this is the start. This is the start of my cover. Okay, and that's obviously gonna go there somehow. Now, what I want to do, these pieces might work well. These were the flaps inside. move that fabric off because I want a panel on here Honestly, my desk is just, it's unlike anything it's ever been like before. And I think I might have to get rid of this end, it's a bit neat. Just literally, honestly, I've never worked quite this way before. Just see what happens. Go with it. I'm going to make sure that's here. Yeah. So that's going to be my front, that's going to be my back. I'm going to go for, um, I'm going to go Gold Rush, this is a Paper Artsy Fresco Finish paint. This will have a lot more going on, so it's not going to stay that particular colour. Um, but it's also going to have the fabric in between there to break that up, so I'm quite happy with this. Um, I'm still trying to decide whether to add some of the moss. Uh, this one was Gold Rush, by the way. And whether we should go for um, this one's mahogany uh, yeah I'll go for mahogany <clears throat> again this brush has been wet so We got 22 minutes. I'm going to go for about half an hour. So that that will that will be the start. So now what I want to do is start bringing in some different elements onto this particular um, panel that is going to have our postcard on. Um, but I still think this needs to be layered even more. Um, though I think maybe I've, I've picked quite a large element. Now, I've got some papers that I got from... <gasps> Sorry! 
um, Roxy Creations from her Etsy store. And these are just amazing. Although I wanted to keep away from blue. I wanted to keep away from blue. We have too much blue. Now I was going for more neutrals and um, reds wasn't really on my on my radar but seems to be now. So I'm going to be speeding up a lot of this video. the book page to incorporate here and I think I'll give that a base and this is very fragile <clears throat> do need to kind of pull in this cardboard underneath so um, I actually want a bit more of this card showing there we go but we need to paint it it needs to be needs to have some color I think we need a bit of text in here as well because this paper underneath is very, very um, flat compared to some text on here or oh. maybe that maybe that will do it right so we're gonna have that we're gonna have that we're gonna have that we're gonna have this we're going to have that and here. I'm trying to look at the screen because sometimes when you look at the screen it looks very different than when you're looking at it. Let me pick it up.
<laughs> gonna go and have a think about this and we'll come back. I've had, oh, sorry, motorbike. Um, I've had a, had a bit of a play with it. I've actually shortened it, laid things out, which I think this is kind of how I'm gonna go. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna sew it. It's gonna pull it together quite a bit once it's sewn. And I'm also, I think I'm gonna add a glaze. So what I've done is I've just made sure I've got all three colors on this piece of cardboard here. So I'm gonna check it out before I do it on the piece. I'm gonna move that aside. Um, got my pot, let me find, got a palette knife. That's probably not the best one. Let me see if I can find a better one. Oh, um, they're all a bit grungy, that one might do. Um, so I think I'm going to use matte rid of that this is absolutely I don't know how long I've had this I don't know what I'm shaking that for and I'm gonna try and do a glaze in this nickel azo gold so I've got my glaze medium and I'm, I need quite a bit <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna put quite a bit in there I have about 10 of those I, I, it, Years ago, when I kept buying things, I was like, oh, I need that. I haven't got that yet, so I'll buy it. And I think, well, I haven't got ten. I think I've got about three. Right. That's still got quite a bit of colour in there. Um, what I'm going to try and do is... Pull the glaze across. Oh, it's not very easy with the cardboard. Um, let me grab a brush. I'll get one of my rather old, old ones. I love how it's brought this particular colour out. Not, it's not making a huge amount of difference to the mahogany, but it is making quite a bit of difference to that grey. Um, I, I've got such a reflection on my screen I can't really see um, it's almost made it slightly green actually um, I think that's going to work though I think that's going to work so right I have taken a photograph of this now what I'm going to do is Lift these pieces off now. Just going to glaze around the edge of this and we'll see if I've actually mixed enough, which I probably haven't. Who knows what this is going to look like? Um, that's already pretty dry. That's my hair, actually. That's not a brush hair. That's mine. <laughs> Painted that in. This way. Okay. And stand up. Okay, definitely need to tone down that yellow, and I think I'm going to do that probably with maybe some pencil. That we can paint later, that's not a problem. I'm gonna get a soft pencil, got my 2B, and I'm just gonna
that's better. Okay. Right. I'm going to actually do some gluing now. <laughs> um, I will speed it up so you do not have to watch me glue. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a funny old thing, isn't it? Um, what I was having a little play with is once this is all together, if I'm not 100% happy with it, then I can always add another panel on top of here. So that's going to be okay for me. There was a couple that I kind of liked on top of here. So... Um, I'm going to sew before I add more paint, if um, if that makes sense. Um, I definitely want to lighten this up, but I also want to get some paint on here. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more paint here and there, just to grunge it up even more. Um, but for now, I'm just going to sew around these two individual pieces. So I will be right back. I'm definitely happier now these are sewn but I still it still needs a little bit more of that grey paint so I am um, possibly going to mess this completely up now <laughs> who knows um, I'm going to take a little bit more of that grey paint small 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 amount fairly dry and I'm going to start by just brushing some over that lace okay I'm actually gonna run I mean this is a beautiful old vintage lace but I'm happy I'm okay with <laughs> this is about doing things that I don't normally do so you know Oh dear, that's blue. Never mind, what are you going to do? <laughs> okay. Right, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Uh, uh, that's not to say I'm not going to do anything else to it. So, what I'm going to do now off camera is... Um, I am going to I'm going to run a stitch along here I am going to glaze around the edge of this and then I am going to glue and sew my fabric onto my cardboard so that will be at the stage I'm at when I come back for the next video. So thank you for joining me. You can get a rough idea now what this is going to look like. Okay, something along those lines. Maybe something similar. <laughs> um, and... I think this is probably the grungiest cover I have ever made. Just in case you didn't see the cover from the, the one I posted in my Facebook group, it's that. Um, this would also be a journal, but I've got so many different types of papers. I wanted to have different feels. Um, I'm going to do a third one, uh, probably not on camera, but that one is going to be much more 
in the greens, green tones. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. I will see you for part five very soon. See you soon. Thanks.